Okay, are we live or? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hello, everyone. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought it, um, he was still muted. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, welcome, everyone, uh, to the Game Osu round of 32 match. It's Vaxay versus Flying Tuna. Um, this is a huge match. Just want to say, two, two of, like some of the best players in the game going head to head in round of 32, like really early on in the tournament. And whoever loses this one is going to go into the loser's bracket. So, it's going to be a very big disadvantage starting off. So, uh, right now, we'll be starting with the rolls here. Uh, Flying Tuna will be rolling a 73. And uh, we're waiting on Vaxe to roll soon. Uh, also, as for the commentator, uh, commentary and streaming, um, my name is uh, Yong Yusong, and the streamer and other uh, commentator is uh, Demarsh. Hello, everybody. So, all right. So, oh, yeah, and uh, Vaxe is uh, going to roll 31, so Flying Tuna will be winning the roll here. Oh, um, so you need to change the title, by the way. Ah, that is a problem. Uh, uh no, actually, we are, uh, actually, Vaxi and Flying Tuna are not happening yet. We're actually, uh, watching Toy is Our Boy and Umbre right now. <laughs> uh, you know, a rematch. It's pretty crazy how they can, uh, rematch within about a couple hours. It's pretty crazy, dude. But anyway, so, uh, Vaxi will be banning Double Time 1. So, Double Time 1, if I remember correctly, is Heartfelt Fancy Pre Adieu. I don't know how you say that properly. Um, this is a consistency map, 120 BPM with Double Time, I believe, and 6.49 stars. And then Flying Tuna will be banning Hard Rock 3. Hard Rock 3 is uh, Over and Over by Yanagi Nagi. This is uh, 175 BPM, 6.01 stars. Uh, it's a consistency map, uh, kind of well-rounded, you know, mid-BPM for Hard Rock. Uh... <laughs> Alright, and so Flying Tuna will be picking Hidden 3. Hidden 3 is uh, Amuru vs. Killer May. This is an Eva Ellis map, 6.09 stars and 200 BPM. So it's kind of noted as a fingering control slash a stamina map. Uh, this is AR 9.3 OD... OD9 and HP7, CS5, so a little bit a little bit of a weird uh, distribution there, but still manageable. Yeah, hidden three. Um it's 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 I would say a fairly difficult map. Uh it's all about the finger control and the stamina with these players, but uh Hopefully they should be able to manage just fine. All right, and we're getting into the getting into the match here. All right, so both players no, no early act drops. That's good. So the point lead is going to go flickering back and forth here. Both of these players, you know, that they are top players in the in the realm of osu so i'm looking for oh wait but vaxay with a pretty early break uh tuna still holding the ss but uh okay now here comes the burst slash uh, stream section here all right no one dropping any accuracy it's just uh vaxay with that early miss though very surprising miss from vaxay like uh flying tuna did yeah, Flying Tuna did drop a little bit, but otherwise, um, he's doing a lot better than Vaxe right now. And we are approaching the uh, halfway point through the map here. Oh, uh, hang on. Alright, so, exactly halfway point. Uh, Tuna's still holding the full combo. Vaxe just a little bit behind, though. Ooh, both players hitting the little uh, square section there. And both players also hitting that stream section. Oh, 
Well, backside dropping a bit of accuracy there, hitting just a little bit too early. However, Tuna's still holding the full combo. And I don't think there's any map left. It's gonna be Tuna taking this point here. Oh, Vaxay missing again. I, ooh, he missed multiple times actually. He could almost die from HP drain. But uh, that's gonna make the scoreline 0 to 1 in favor of Flying Tuna. Now keep in mind that was Flying Tuna's pick, so no breakpoints just yet. However, uh, it's a very solid play on uh, Tuna's part. Uh, actually looking a little bit shaky on the beginning there and just kind of gave up toward the end, but you know, we should see, uh, we'll see what happens with his pick. Yeah, very surprising miss from Vaxe early on. I wonder if Vaxe's warmed up properly because there are no warm-up maps in these earlier stages of the tournament. Yeah, and this is a very, uh, again, this is a very, like, interesting match to keep in mind because, again, even though no one, if anyone loses here, they won't get eliminated, but they will get bumped down in the loser's bracket, and that's going to be a very, very big disadvantage. So, we're going to have to see what happens here. Um, we're just waiting on Vaxe's pick. Uh, Vaxxay will be going with no mod 4, uh, this is a uh, minus plus, and uh, this is a long space stream map, 185 BPM. Uh, I believe this has shown up in multiple other tournaments, lower or higher, like lower rank or, you know, higher rank. So, it's a 6.31 stars and 185 BPM, just so if anyone's clear on that one. Uh, this is AR 9.5, OD 8, CS4, and HP 6. And only two minutes long, so uh, any early, yeah, any early combo breaks could uh, be pretty disastrous here. Yeah, a lot of players they normally tend to follow one of two rules. So far, from what I've noticed, they'll either tend to pick the longer maps and alternate between long and short, or they'll just stick with the short maps in this pool. Yeah, this, yeah, this could be interesting. Okay, so no one dropping anything early on. So this little slider section here. Oh, never mind, Vaxe, I believe he uh, hit just a little bit late on the slider head there. Both players looking solid right now. Vaxe gonna be taking the lead back though. Tuna with a slight act drop. Oh, um, Demarsh, I think you have to turn up the music volume. I'm hearing some people mention that. Ooh, both players hitting the uh, space section there. Sort that. Although point lead is flickering back and forth, but slightly in favor of Vaxi, just because he hit the 100 a little bit earlier. However, if any, if either player messes up, then they are going to lose the point. Ooh, flying tuna getting a break there though. A uh, multiple breaks on the bus sliders. Yeah, disastrous break for flying tuna there. Uh, Vaxxay's still holding on to that full combo though, and the accuracy. Why aren't you Ooh. really struggling with the second half of this map? Unexpected. Oh yeah, that was very bad uh, for the... Uh... Ooh yeah, the, he dropped I think 2% accuracy on that. Ooh, flying to the breaking again, I believe he broke on a bus slider. However, Vaxxay is still looking super strong here. I don't think there's much left of the map. So Vaxxay will be taking this away, I believe, with the 1x100 and Tuna. A lot of unfortunate breaks. And Vaxxay will be breaking the 1 million barrier with that. So the scoreline is going to be 1 to 1. Yep, 1x100. Good, very, very solid play on Vaxxay's job. Yeah, Vaxxay coming in there when he needed to. So now uh, we'll have to see what happens here. Uh, Tuna, it's his turn to pick. So again, no breakpoints. If it keeps up at this pace, then we'll probably end up with a tiebreaker. We, ha we have seen the tiebreaker a number of times already in this, uh, in this round of 32, but I think we, we are in for some surprising slider breaks and misses further on. 
We could see some bright points from these players. It's very possible. I mean, you know, in terms of skill, I think it's fair to say that they can match up almost like directly against each other. Yeah, both players very comfortable with a lot of similar mods. Mod types, but the pick is now back with Flying Tuna. Alright, so Tuna will be picking Hidden One. So, Hidden One is uh, Nanatsu Koyoto, which Kawa's extra. This is 5.71 stars, 180 BPM, 2 minutes, 23 seconds, but notably, AR 8.2. So, he's going straight for the reading pick here, a CS5 and OD9. So, this is a tricky angle, like, tricky angle kind of map here. And also, low BPM relatively for the kind of map, so... Yeah, this map this very map. infamous, especially in uh, OWC formats. I think not necessarily this difficulty though, I think maybe the higher difficulty, but... Yeah, this map very well known among players to be very difficult map in terms of reading. But we haven't seen this map too often from players. It's normally been the, the ban pick for a lot of them. Yeah, I guess Tuna just he knows the well he's just really targeting Baxay's probably weakness, which is a uh, low AR hidden, as we haven't really seen many scores from him of that. No, yes, yeah, so a lot of Baxay's scores are using this hit double time. But here we go. Uh there's a slight glitch in the tournament client, we just have to wait for it to catch up. All right, and the match is going to be starting here. All right, both warriors starting off strong. No early act drops. Ooh, Tuna breaking though. Vaxi still holding on to the SS. Both these players, her misses have been fairly early on. The majority of them, oh. the maps they've played so far. Alright, but this is going to be uh, very interesting seeing how this is Tuna's point, but he's already starting off with a bit of a setback here. Well, sorry, Tuna's pick, sorry, not Tuna's point. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and speaking of that, uh, Vaxay breaking, I think he's slider broke. And uh, Tuna will be slowly but surely getting the lead back here. And Vaxai missing again. I believe he uh, misclicked on that one. Oh, Tuna though, he's gonna be missing as well. And he just he wasn't just... able to pull into the lead either. Oh no, Vaxi. that accuracy. Yeah, the accuracy is just really, really in favor of Vaxai. Uh, I, I don't know what that aim is. <laughs> okay. So if Vaxai were to break at any point, then Tuna could easily take it back. And, oh no, but Tuna's gonna be missing though. Right now, but Vaxi's still gonna be taking the lead here. And we are approaching the last quarter of the map as well. So if any breaks are to happen, they should happen now, otherwise Tuna will be losing this and getting the first break point. Yeah, Vaxi with the combo advantage and the accuracy advantage, so. Unless there's a break right at the end. Yeah, this is way. looking clean. Oh, Tuna's gonna be missing though. And also a slight act drop there. So that is gonna make the scoreline 2 to 1 in favor of Vaxay. That is a break point for, uh, break point against Tuna. Uh, oh, actually, am I. Oh, whoops, I think uh, my client's a little bit ahead of yours, so there was a bit of a spoiler there. <laughs> there was a bit, yeah. It was only a second, so I thought... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, shaking plus hovering uh, coming in from Tuna. <laughs> hey, you know what, Tuna, since you're watching, you know what? You don't, don't lose confidence, alright? Plenty of time to turn this... Let's match around. Exactly, you gotta get another breakpoint if you wanna do this, Tuna. Anyway, um, yeah, Vexy picking Nomad 2 here. 
Number two is Feelings of Fake featuring Tsuyuri Karin. I think that's how you say it. Uh, Daily Care is Extreme. This is 6.24 stars, 202, pp- 202 BPM, 2 minutes, 13 seconds, AR 9.6, OD9, and CS4. So this one is a slider. It's just kind of like a complete map, basically. It has sliders, aim, and a lot of bursts. Uh, Habuto Oh, no, it's just German right now, okay. <laughs> Tidebreaker Bar Nutty. <laughs> I don't even think you need to know German to know what that means. <laughs> Alright, so this is gonna be, uh, we're getting into the match right now. Oh, we just gotta wait for the tournament clients to catch up here. Right off in. Oh, right. Ooh, two though. Uh, sorry, uh, actually with a really bad act drop in the beginning, going down all the way to 60% though. I have seen other players do that though, though. They will just drop accuracy randomly. I think they're quite expecting the approach rate. They end up hitting all however, those notes late. Yeah, but however, Tuna is gonna gonna lose that as well. Maxi's starting to get a little get a little bit more of a lead. Both players still full comboing though. Alright, both players looking solid, however, this is going to be the lead up to the first key eye. Ooh. Yeah, and we both get the players... part of the map now, but both players holding strong. It tends to be the second section of tech that tends to catch players out. Let's see how they manage. However, both Vexley and Tuna looking very solid on this. No one, uh, like, dropping any slider in, from I can tell. Oh, but Tuna's gonna be missing, I believe, a 3 0 burst there. Oh, Vaxxay's still holding the full combo. Yeah, just after that first half is where players can get caught out in this map. Oh, oh, Tuna missing the last note before the break. We are approaching the last quarter of the map into the second PI. Oh, uh, Tuna with a pretty bad act drop there. Yeah, that's gonna spell the end for Tuna. Yeah, there's just not- yeah, I just don't think there's enough part- no, there's just not enough map left, I think. I do believe, actually, that this, uh... Yeah, I believe that failed scores count, so... Uh, yes, failed scores do indeed count. Um... And even at this point, it wouldn't make a difference. Yep, and that is gonna be... Uh, third point for Vaxay, making the scoreline 3-1. to one. Uh, That was his pick, though, so... Tuna really has to make sure that he wins his picks. Otherwise, uh, there's not much of a chance. Right now, we just gotta wait and see what happens. Actually, with that break point, though, it really does stand out. With the score now being 3 1. Yeah, I mean, I will say that I think a lot of people were kind of eyeing this match uh, back when it showed up on the bracket. I mean, I know I do. Like, first thing, like, wait, hold on. Are we really having these players fight right now out of every possible thing? But. Yeah, you know, there is another match like this that's gonna come up, which I, I don't think has happened yet, which is Ikki versus Fiery Rage. That's another uh, very interesting matchup that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that is another exciting match we've got coming out very uh, tomorrow, I believe. Yeah. Oh, in fact, uh, Tuna will be going with Nomad 1. Nomad 1 is uh, Nenten Puraneto. Para this is a 6.45 uh, stars, 200 BPM, 3 minutes, 32 seconds, AR 9.5, OD 8.5, and CS 4.2. So this is a, you know, no mod 1 map. Let's just be honest, it's going to be a generic jump and a little bit of streams. You know, can't really say much else. Yeah, players are going to be wanting to avoid those shit misses as and when they come, but... 
Very difficult. Yeah, yeah not, this could be hard. I mean, you know, Vex is known to be extremely consistent, but we'll see what happens with Tuna. I mean, he could take it back with that, I see. Here we go, map number five. What right, happens to this both players? And no, right neither player getting an act drop and we get any actually, so that's good. Just holding it. This could be the first accuracy battle that we see between these two players. Both of them very comfortable on these sort of jumpy maps. Yeah, the point might be figuring back and forth here. Okay, sorry, uh, I don't know what's going on with the tournament quite here, but... Well, so far, both players holding the SS on my end. Yeah, did it lag out a lot for you too? I'm pretty sure it did. No, mine seems to be holding strong at this point, but... Okay. Both players showing no signs of even dropping a single 100. They're almost a third of the way through the map now. Both of them are still... A proper rhythm. Right now, yeah, there's just no, yeah, no um, accuracy drops either. Kind of curious to see what the UR is on both these players after. <laughs> Could be. Uh, this this kind of does sound like a foreground eclipse song. I think the singer might be the same. I don't co don't call me on that, but I think it is. Flying tuner out of nowhere. Finds a slider break, I believe. Um uh, so no, good. it's fine on my screen actually. Oh, never mind, he missed though. That was a miss. Okay. I'm hundred percent sure, but with that. I believe I'm actually just a little bit behind, I'm sorry. But yeah, Vaxley's still holding the SS though, that is very impressive. Very impressive so far from Vaxay as well past. Two thirds of the way through the map now. Flying Tuna's only chance to come back into this is for Vaxay to maybe even just miss a pattern, but... I don't know, I mean, the ac I mean, even though Tuna's holding up very close behind with accuracy, it's just, I don't know, Vaxay, he has so much of a max combo right now, we're in the last fourth of the map. Players nailing the streams here. Such disappointment for Flying Tuna, who was matching Vaxe point for point until that. Just yeah, that very miss. unfortunate break. Yeah, I, I believe actually um, he. I think he just didn't tap enough because uh, he, he missed right before the ending slider. Easily be done though. Especially when... Oh, but Vaxay fighting a slider break there, I believe he just uh, missed the, sur the slider head. But I just... Yeah, it's just not enough map though. See, their ac accuracy is so similar. It just shows you the difference yeah. between a miss and a, and a 100 or even a 50. Yeah, it's all about the combo, when, it, when the accuracy is so close. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and look at that. Wow, we have Vaxay with a one times one times 50 in the slider break, and Tuna with the with only one miss, with only 0.01% act difference. Unfortunately, the combo just really came in there. But now, uh, and that was a break point for Vaxe, so that's going to be uh, two more points on his part than expected. And so now uh, Vaxe will be choosing hidden two. Uh, hidden 2 is Colors Sasakure. This one is... Ooh, okay. So this one is AR 9.2, 4 minutes 16 seconds long, 150 BPM. And, uh, AR, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, this is, uh, pretty... seems fine. However, reading the notes here, it says that it's, uh, finger controls and, uh, space slash cut streams. So, Hidden Streams, 
Let's see who can do the best on this. Yeah, this this map has been has had a lot of talk about it, considering it's it's been regarded as one of the as the easiest map in the pool. Um, oh really? Especially okay. in the I mean, pool. Yeah. yeah, this is five point five two stars, so. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, both players have proven themselves to be good at um, streams at some capacity, but I don't know how well they can do on Hidden Only. But yeah, this this map is deceptively easy, I would say, because even though it is supposed to be one of the more consistent plays, we have seen, I've seen a number of players miss on this at just random points. Oh, Tuna actually getting a bit of an act drop there. Vex is still holding the SS. Yeah, both these players have, throughout this match have shown to have really high accuracies. Oh, Tuna getting another 100 there, hitting just a little bit late. Oh, Vex hitting a little bit late there too, but still holding the accuracy lead. Some bus sliders there. Those bus sliders could be a source of uh, some breaks. And both players still holding it. Going to his accuracy, just a little bit lower. Vax says. Yeah, it's all on that accuracy right now. Both players still holding the full combo. Like, you know, this is a relatively long map, so if anyone were to break around this time, then it would be huge. Uh, Tuna getting an extra 100. Spinner might actually make a bit of a difference here if accuracy gets close. Both players hitting these buzz sliders. Vexa getting a hundred though. We even hit the slider head just a little bit too early. And now as we approach the halfway point, the score difference between these players is less than 10,000 points. Nothing in between the two of them. Yeah, if Vexa messes up even one stream, then that's it. Tuna will be taking the lead here. However, neither player is dropping a single note. They're reaching two thirds through the map as well. So now the the interval for uh, anyone to mess up here is getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, Tuna is getting really close in accuracy though, only 0.2 away. But you can just see that bar at the bottom not moving at all because neither player will drop a single hundred and afford yeah, to, but I think Flying Tuna did just drop one there. Uh, yeah, very slightly. I think he got one one hundred from missing a slider end, I believe. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh no, Tuna! Ah, oh, he's gonna be missing multiple notes there. And uh, Vaxley still holding the full combo. I don't think there's enough map left at all. Yeah, it's just the accuracy lead too. Yeah, like I said, a very deceptively easy map. Yeah, very unfortunate though. I mean, he was holding it up so strong, but fortunately, I yeah, I just don't think it's gonna happen. And that, Tuna dropping another 100 there too. Oh, that? but that's a missing though. Ah, uh, but the max combo is just too high. Unfortunate. At the very end. It's right at the end of the map as well. Unfortunately. Yeah. This is going to be the match to Vaxay. Yep, and that is going to make it 5-1 to one there. I believe that was 3 break points on um, Vaxay's part. So, very good performance on both these players, but Vaxay just barely edging forward on some of these. So, and yeah, that will knock down Flying Tuna into the loser's bracket here. Uh, we have Vax and Vaxay will be staying. I believe he'll move up to round of 16 winners. And uh, I need to look at the bracket to see who's going to be fighting next. But Tuna was considered to be one of the bigger opponents for him to fight. Oh, and his next opponent uh, for Vaxi will be Koba. And after that, he'll be fighting potentially Varvalian or Spare.
But yeah, that is a major player in this right now. Uh, move down to the losers bracket. Yeah, we've we've had a couple of those, a couple of surprises that have have dropped down to the losers bracket that you wouldn't have seen coming. Yeah, but either way, this is a very high profile match. But you know, someone had to go out of this. There's no way around it. So anyway, yeah. um, I don't. Is there another match right after this? I'm not entirely sure. No, there's not another match for I believe another three hours or so. Uh, I think the oh in that case the next one I believe should be Crystal versus I'm a Fancy Lad. If it's not that, then it's probably something yep. very similar. Like it's a Crystal that versus is the next. That is the next match. At All right. Four and... UTC. Oh yeah. So um, be sure to check that one now. Uh, do you know if that one's gonna be streamed? Uh, I do not. Uh, we currently don't have a active streamer. To do it but uh mm. if it is make sure to stick around guys and uh you may just be lucky enough to catch a stream yep uh so this is uh yongi song and damarish signing out thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the next match if it streams take care everybody all right did we